guys, welcome back. This is your host, Light Liger here, and today we're gonna be diving into my top 10 play to earn airdrops, and actually all of these are free to play. So gamers rejoice, you got a lot of options here. And yes, some of them do have optional paid options where you can buy an NFT or buy a boost or stake certain tokens to get more points on these but everything is free to play on this list. And some of these drops can be actually quite valuable if we remember Pixels, for example. Some of these people who played this game got over $1,000 from that airdrop, and then we had on the last cycle, we had the Gods and IMX airdrops, and those were quite valuable too. So please understand that some game fee airdrops can be very valuable for a lot of people. But let's get started with our first entry on the list. We have Nuon Heroes, which is a PC only game. So not necessarily all people have a good enough PC to actually run this game. But we did a separate video on this couple of days ago where I kind of gave my first impressions of the game and kind of explain how the distribution works. But to kind of recap, there are in-game missions and then there are social missions that anybody can basically do, Twitter following and her holding certain types of NFTs will give you these points and also inviting people. You can use my code LIGERLIGHT and this is a case sensitive code to basically gain some free points by signing up and I think this is going to be, if not the biggest, one of the biggest airdrops which are going to be happening on the game fee space but it remains to be seen how big it eventually will be it got a lot of investors already behind it so i'm pretty excited about this one and definitely one of the best game fee projects that i have played in very very long time our second entry on the list is no stranger to the channel as i have talked about it multiple times in multiple different videos we have Kuroro Beasts, and they are taking Snapshot on April 14th. This is a Pokemon-style game, which is run on your browser, which is good because some people may not have the option to basically play the games on their Windows or Mac. So this is totally browser-based game, and, you know, it's pretty good because everybody can play it for free. There's also an opportunity to buy one of these uh, NFTs, and that will also give you points if you're going to be staking them. And basically your goal is just to play many games as you can, try to get to level 10 um, before 15th. There's a lot of quests on the platform which you can do, which will give you extra points. And it's a pretty easy game to play. It's a lot of like rock, paper, scissors with the elements on side the game. And you kind of get the gist of it after playing a couple of games. And then there's obviously a very lucrative referral program, but it requires quite a many referrals to get into the top hundred which are going to be getting a specific special airdrop as well and um you know i don't really have much else to add here um it's going to have two different phases of airdrop so even if you miss out on the first one there is going to be another one after which is going to be even bigger than the first so that's pretty exciting but let's move on then we have imaginary ones with their bubble airdrop this kind of combines a gaming aspect and a social fee you can buy the imaginary ones uh, NFTs, whatever the imaginary ones or the imaginary rides. And these will give you the bubble points and doing things like inviting people and also playing the actual game on mobile. So people who don't have a PC on the mobile devices, you can basically get this um, game and you can earn bubble points inside it. So this is another game to earn airdrop obviously there's some other tasks that you can do on twitter side which will give you points a lot of big partners here which are not to be ignored and so this is likely going to be a big airdrop as well and uh, i kind of do the both so i bought one of the imaginary ones nfts and the imaginary rights i mean and then i'm going to be farming a bit on the twitter side as well i mean i've also referred people to this thing so let's see how it goes obviously there's a lot of these social media based tweet um, airdrops going on right now. So let's see which ones are going to come out on top. Then we have um, Cap Games, and they have this Captains, and what was the game again? I already forgot the game's name, but this is actually quite fun. You basically play on this pirate ship, and you try to destroy the other pirate ships by steering, repairing, and using the cannons on the ship. And 
basically take down the ships and then you have to go into this extraction point and then you're going to be getting these points here so i played one game and i got 494 blast points and once this blast campaign is over they are going to be giving out you an airdrop um, and there's going to be opportunity to stake the cap token as well and this will be giving you boosts and this is totally optional by the way i'm also going to be leaving my blast code on the screen and also in the description down below in case you haven't joined in to this whole blast campaign and there are a couple of different ways to basically earn points with the captain and company it's actually a pretty fun game and there's a lot of like options where you can rent and buy these pirate ships and i guess you get like more bonuses and stuff like that by doing that i think we're going to be streaming this on the 20th once uh, the bitcoin halving stream is going to happening so i'm pretty excited about that one and then we have palio this one is also a project that has raised eight million dollars and that is a lot of money i mean there has been a lot of projects which have been raising a lot of money and this seems to be a pretty interesting project in my opinion and there are a couple of gamified aspects this is kind of different from the rest of the list because it doesn't really have a game exactly but it does have this tamagotchi style activity and this is what i'm really bullish about and you know it's it does require gas but it's on opbmb so the gas fees are like super super low like less than a cent and you can get like boost and growth points it's going to be in different chapters this is pretty early still like we're five days in or four days in to be precise and it's going to have different phases here and i think there's going to be some type of a gamified aspect here as well in the future but um it is a gaming based project so i decided to kind of add it here even though it's not like traditional gaming but let's move on and then we have wild forest this one is um, one another mobile based game they have an nft sale uh coming in okay actually this is already passed and they have a play to earn campaign which has been already confirmed here's a bit of a trailer we can probably play here without a sound and it's kind of like a castle fight style game basically deploy units on the map and then your overall goal is to destroy the other side and they have already like i think they're giving out like twenty thousand dollars of like tokens throughout this uh campaign that they have currently ongoing on i'm not a big mobile guy but hey if you like playing mobile games go ahead and try this out most of this is kind of like autopilot stuff so it's probably very easy to kind of gain up on ranks if you're like really good at games in general but this could be a, a decent entry but it remains to be seen where it will be going on in the future but yeah go take a look at it if you're interested then we have Yuliverse. we kind of already talked about this on the linear park because this was the linear park event and there are some regional restrictions to this mobile game as well so prepare to use a vpn um, in case you're not on the regions and this is kind of like um a multi um i think they were working on anime or that maybe would have been another project but basically there's a lot of different types of missions here here's the kind of the roadmap what they're building out and there's two types of tokens far as i understood and they got a currently an ongoing campaign with obviously on i think this the airdrop dot universe so let's see if i can find the the actual okay i don't i remember the url but it will be down below and it has pretty big backers behind it here so my like animonica ventures so one one other one that worth checking out in case you want to uh, play games on mobile moving on we have another game that was on the linear pro campaign and that is yule though this is more like um gaming platform or client that has multitude of different games on it and they got a couple of different events here including their yule token and this can be participated by well there's a referral program here um holding the drop token depositing top tokens and then there's this trouble punk play to earn league there are some other games on the platform like the pirate defense which was part of the linea they might be having a, some type of an airdrop and there's other games obviously inside hyperplay 
which are going to be doing an airdrop. Um, I think like Unfettered, for example, was there. So there's a couple of games there which can be utilized and played to get um, their own token and the Yuldo's own token when that's going to be happening on the token generation event. So another one to basically to check out. Then we have the Nifty Island um, airdrop going on. This is like a multi-stage thing. And we did feature this on uh, one video already. Looks kind of interesting, this sort of multiverse project where you have your own island and there's quests that you can do. You can build your own. Um, somebody did a Pokemon stage for you, for example. So a lot of cool things already being built on uh, Nifty Islands. And if you have also special NFTs like um, Board A, Job Club, um, as, not Azuki's, the other one, a Clonex. A lot of like Cyber Kongs have been imported into this system. There's invite programs. Um, playing inside your uh, on your own island will be giving you points. And then there's like Bloom rewards. And there's many different things you can do here. And they also have NFTs which you can buy on the marketplace. And then you have these tier contributions from NFTs that you own. So you're going to be getting... Um, collector tier thing but basically um yeah it's, it's another one that's probably going to be worth a lot because there's so many different partnerships uh, around it so i believe this is going to be quite big going onwards but let's move on to our last one on the list and this is the engines of fury this is kind of like a diablo style of a game and i'm pretty excited about this one too seems pretty high quality and you can join the alpha and doing the alpha, um, you can get Fury points and Gen Zero NFTs, which are gonna be unique and to my understanding, not traded after this um, early access phase. I think there's a limited amount of this Fury and this is gonna be given to the top players, plus random bonus drops are gonna be happening to people who are gonna be playing the game. Maybe we're gonna be doing a video on this in the near future, but uh, if the time for a bit, so uh, that's something that's also probably worth checking out. And this does seem pretty of a high quality game. In terms of like other game fee stuff, we're probably gonna be doing some type of an upcoming gaming list in the near future. I also want to add a bit of a notion into our new uh, spreadsheet, which we have been working under the Airdrop Recon brand. And it's now on the version one. It's pretty detailed compared to the other one. It's a lot more easily scrollable it has all of these uh tabs here so you can look for nft based airdrops and there's like speculative stage tasks and snapshots and drop dates we're going to be updating also a calendar page where you can view uh, all the upcoming and ongoing based airdrops uh in the future and then there will be um like node list and pre-sale list and upcoming change. Those will come out in near future. So compare this at like a version one and it will be upgraded soon. And also we're taking feedback on this, what could be added on in future in terms of like features and data that might be useful for grinding airdrops. And I just want to say April is going to be stacked with airdrops. There's a lot of point systems going on in game fee and outside of game fee. So don't be lazy. Now is time to grind. But thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe and like and find all the necessary links down below in the description and i will be seeing you guys on the next video which should be coming out tomorrow very high quality video with a lot of alpha on it so don't miss it but thanks for watching i will be seeing you in the next video cheers